Uh, hello, welcome back to another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season 8, episode 20 and 21. So we're done with the season after this, which is insane. I mean, I feel like ever since I've done like basically four episodes a week, I'm, I've been flying through the show. So it makes sense that I'm getting through it quicker. But yeah, what are these called? Mission Impossible and something old, something new, something Bob caters you. For, caters for you. Okay, with the first one, I honestly don't know what to expect. Like, it's obviously got something to do with slugs slash Mission Impossible. But yeah... I, honestly, I have no idea what to expect with that one. But the something old, something new, something Bob caters for you. I'm guessing that Bob does like a catering job, maybe. Like, I feel like he's done it before. I think it was that episode where it was um, Tammy's Bar Mitzvah. Bar Mitzvah, am I even saying that correctly? I'm pretty sure in that episode they were doing the catering. But besides that, I don't think they have. So I don't know. I don't know who they're catering for, but I guess we'll find out when we get to it. But yeah, let's just get into it. What the fuck? Is this basically Pokemon cards? Okay, that's cool. Rogue is like Pokemon, but just everybody's a slug. Uh, yes, yeah. I guess so. Why are there three empty slots? Because I'm missing three of the nine stages of. Slug okay, well, build. shit. My favorite slug. Ugh, can you believe this collection has taken me two and a half years to build? I mean, hard honestly, that is kind of surprising. But to be fair, though, Pokemon cards are kind of fucking take a shit ton to collect. Gonna speed things up with these less than authentic Barobu cards I found online. Oh, are they okay. Blurry? Only if you look at them. Here's if you, I guess so. They're all Mega Ultra. When I trade with these, Mama gets what Mama wants. I mean, surely people are gonna realize that they are fake, though. Unless, I mean, kids are stupid sometimes, to be fair. I'm gonna take a few of these to school Monday, make some trades, get those last three Slugodactyls, and my empire will be complete! Okay, I mean, fair enough. Wait, didn't you say those cards got banned from school? Yeah, we got- Oh my god, Pokemon cards got banned from high school. And it fucking annoyed the shit out of me. I, I mean, as a kid, in retrospect, it kind of makes sense. That's it. Those cards are banned. If I see them again, it's detention and I'm confiscating them. Now apologize to America. <laughs> what? Relax. We're not doing okay. the trades until after school. I mean, so fair enough. Plan. Feedback? Praise? Yes, Tina. It seems sort of dishonest. I mean, those... Yeah, I mean... To be fair, I got traded fake Pokemon cards when I was in like year four. And I, so I only like really realized like fucking five years later when I was looking at them. Harry, the pickle guy we used to go to, he died. Oh, oh okay, no, jeez. Poor Harry and his pickles. That was his lawyer on the phone. Apparently in his will, Harry requested that I speak at the funeral. Oh, Wait, what? Wow. Really? Yeah. He must have forgotten to take me out of his will after... The incident. Wait, what was the okay, incident? Don't say the incident like that. Yeah, well, like, what happened? Whoa, 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 wait. What incident? Yeah, it got older, though. Okay, Louise. Two hours till school's over. Then you can trade. You can make it. You can make it. No, you can't. I mean, okay. Rudy, large time. Yeah, probably you shouldn't do it, you know, in school. After school. Yep. Yeah. We're done. What if we go back behind that shelf and do it right now? Or do it in the, in the school bathroom. The cars will be confiscated. Yeah, they'll get constipated. <laughs> no. Rudy, come on. Wow, I mean, sh I guess, sure. So, Tina, Kathy, whatever, look, we're going to hit the back corner for a quick Burobu moment, and I need you to be on the lookout. What? Now? No, we'll get in trouble. Tina, I'm over here. Oh, what? No, no, we'll get in yeah. trouble. Come on, Tina, get my back. Maybe I mean, Kathy would be I don't know, but you still should fucking at least, I don't know, do it somewhere where it's 100% guaranteed that you aren't going to get caught, like the school toilets. Let's go, come on. So we're just going to go read something from a book. Seems like a waste of time, but sure, go nuts. <laughs> what I what, aren't you the fucking go. library? I mean, to be fair, though, it does not seem to give a shit, like, Bob, ever. going to be ready for Harry's service at my place Tuesday night? Why is it at night anyway? Yeah, I what? think Harry wanted all the other farmer's market people to be able to go. After oh, they finish okay. packing their unsold rhubarb. Ugh, all the farmer people are going to be there. Right, they all saw. What the fuck was this incident? What? Oh, I'm so curious. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll tell you. Okay. I bought from Harry for about 10 years. Yes. We friends, farmer's market friends. And then one day I said maybe his latest batch of sweet pickles was a little too sweet and he didn't take it well. Okay. He started throwing pickles at me. <laughs> and I retaliated. I what? picked up a pickle and I threw it at that 80 year old man's face. Oh, oh my god, god okay. Is that how he died? No, Teddy, that was four <laughs> years ago. He just died recently. Yes. Remember? It would be fucking insane if Bob accidentally killed him. Andy and Ollie, I think you'll be very happy with this mega ultra slugarantula. I'm gonna rub it on my belly to get my scent on it. Okay, Me too, then, sure. It's mom. Um, I mean, so at least Andy and Olive, they seem like the type that would easily fall for these fucking, you know, fake cards. Oh no, okay, she's okay. gonna go in there and fucking catch them. What the eighth graders? Where are all the fourth graders? <laughs> God only knows. Tina. 
Tina, where are your study buddies? Okay, Louise. I okay. Oh my god, that one Louise yes. has does All look fake as shit. Then. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm taking those cards. Oh god. Thanks. I mean, I'm just. Me, what? Okay. The fact that Tina told is kind of fucking insane. I hope that at least they give back the cards by the end of the day, because surely you could not keep them. Parts to school should get detention and they get confiscated, and she shouldn't have put Tina in that position. Yes, right. Yeah, not true, but then Tina ratted on her. You I mean, to be fair, that Tina probably shouldn't have ratted. Never. Easy, Don Corleone. You mean Don Pepperoni? You don't understand. Ms. LeBond's made me talk. Where are they? Uh. <laughs> okay, I doubt that that's what actually happened, considering that would be very illegal. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I can understand Louise being angry, but, like, at the same time, she probably shouldn't have done that during... You know, school time. Like, I don't know what she expected, but like, I feel like as well, L Tita should not have ratted her out. And off Bonds goes to choose the cafeteria. I mean, surely they're gonna give back the cards eventually. Surely they can't keep them forever, because I feel like that's kind of fucked and shouldn't be allowed. I don't feel comfortable with this. Oh, you sound ready to go. Come on. Uh, wait. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Hi, Miss LeBonds. Uh, may we join you? Huh? What's going on? Are you two pulling a clueless and trying to set me up with another teacher? <laughs> what? Not interested. Okay. I like firemen a lot. Okay, uh, sure. Actually, Miss LeBonds, I, I just wanted to ask you if you could return the Barobo card to the fourth graders. No way. Not gonna happen. What? I'm hearing... Surely you have to eventually, considering they paid for... Like, even them or their parents paid for it with their own money. In the drawer where I keep the baggies, I used to pick up the crap. My neighbor's stupid dog, Spritzel, leaves in my front yard. So when I run out of bags, I'm gonna use the cards. Okay. okay well, that paints a picture. I looked everywhere. Nothing. Maybe she stashed them in the teacher's lounge. I mean, at least Tina knows where they are now. So Tina could probably fucking help. Wish your father good luck with his Harry Pickle eulogy. Good, good luck, luck with your Yeah, Harry good luck. Eulogy. And let's like hope you don't get judged by farmers. If Bonds doesn't have the cards at school, where could they be? Louise, I don't know if I express this enough, but this is literally killing me. <laughs> Louise, I just wanted to say that I tried to get the cards back for Ms. LeBonds, but she said no. But don't worry, they're in a safe place. I mean, not really. They're in the drawer by her front door, and she's going to use them to pick up her neighbor's dog Spritzel's poop. But hey. What? Okay. That, that's fucking ridiculous, though. Because, again, she shouldn't. You, teachers should not be able to, like, you know, permanently confiscate shit. Like, at least give it back to them or make their parents pick it up. That where it goes. Uh oh, Louise! Louise! No go! No go! Go on! <laughs> Louise, stop! What's going on? Louise is getting Louise to exactly those where cards. Has the Barobu cards in her house, and now Louise is going over there to break in. How the hell does Louise know where she lives, though? To be fair. Looks like nobody's home. This is what they mean by peer pressure. This is everything they've warned me about. Okay. That after school special, Peter's <laughs> of a clown. Stop. Sure. You can't do this. And I can't do this. My thighs are thundering. This is breaking and entering, Louise. It's a crime. Yeah. It's your fault I had to crime this crime in the first place. Someone's coming. Hi. What the hell? Ah. Oh, but wait. Is it going to be like that martini party or whatever? I didn't realize it was actually at her house. They're going to the backyard. Let's go. Or we could just leave. Oh, you're going that way. I mean, to be fair, that... Like, I could understand her wanting to get those fucking cards back, though. Oh, oh my, wait, what? <gasps> Our Barobu cards. Bastards. Hey there, I'm Alfred. Leafy Greens. I've known Harry a long time. Our booths were right next to each other. Yes. He was a good man. A proud man. And when you got him talking about Dill, well, his face just lit up. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I feel bad for laughing because it's a fucking beautiful... But still, be ashamed. Okay. Uh, oh my god, does everyone here fucking know about it and just straight up hate him? Ah, Branca, your slug has what the fuck? So they're playing point. the game and that's Branca. why she confiscated. That's just, just fucking insane. They don't even know the rules. Well, nobody does. <laughs> okay, that is so true though with Pokemon cards. If only we could distract them, get them out of the yard for a second, and we had a rope or something, then we could tie it around my waist, I could climb up the street, and okay. I mean, and I, could grab I guess that could work, but that's a fucking insane plan. There was a hose in the front yard. Okay. Are we talking street games? Yeah, how are, you, how are you meant to distract them? Like, no matter what, they're gonna fucking see you. What the hell he's watching? <laughs> yes, apparently so. A guy who's not cool enough go home every night and put on best dance music of the 90s and dance his little heart out. I mean, oh it would, oh it's a bit weird, but it could be worse. I mean, how you can show them that you're cool. You do? Wait, 
Why are you here? Let's focus on this. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any I was wondering why he wasn't questioning that sooner. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, everyone can do whatever they want, but this is fucking is odd. Every dance move in the world? <laughs> Come on, take the bait. What the hell? Okay. Oh, it's it. Fraud. He's outside, and I think he's dead. Dancy. <laughs> Tiny. Pull me up. Pull me up. I couldn't ask for another. Oh my god, he's fucking singing. Oh god. I couldn't ask for another. <laughs> this. Well, what what the? No, 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 no. Tina, I need your freakishly long arms to grab those cards. I mean, yeah, I guess she is older, so it makes sense that she would be able to do it. Thank you, keep filming. Okay, ah! well. Huh. Oh, hey, Miss Levant. You'd come here too? Yeah, well, it's her house and no shit. Why are you hanging from a garden hose in my backyard? I can see why you'd ask Just fuck it. At this point, just drop, grab the cards and run. Man. At this point, like, that's Veronica. your best. Hi, Tina. Wait a minute. Is this about getting those damn Barobu cards back? Did Louise put you up to this? I know you're there, Louise. Oh, God. I'm feeling too... I gotta get down. <laughs> are you still going? It, it was... Me. What? It was all me. Did Louise try to stop me? Sure. She was like, okay. no, Tina, it's too dangerous. <laughs> I mean, at least she's not writing her out this time. And then what did she say? Well, she was pretty blown away at that point. So you were going to climb up that hose by yourself? Uh, oh, um, yep. Really? I <laughs> teach you in gym. Yes. Oh, right. I forgot he's the gym teacher. Uh, yep, no problem. Oh, no. This is going to go so badly. I got to come clean. Uh, she's doing okay, it. Okay, what the what? fuck? Okay. Apparently she can do it, which that fucking looks hard. Um. Well, uh, I'm I'm glad everybody could cucumber to this service. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, this is not going and I, well. Uh, I I relish this. Oh, you can't <laughs> boo a eulogy. Sure you can. Boo. Okay. Look, everybody, Harry started it. Okay. Oh my he god. First. You call us pickles too. I feel like this is a terrible time to be like putting the blame on the guy and then died. Enough to say it. Anyway, I wish I hadn't thrown the dumb pickle, okay? Everybody happy? No! Well, what am I supposed to do about it now, Leafy Greens? Apologize! What? Apologize to Harry! I mean, yeah, that's actually pretty fair, though, to be honest. Apologizing. Fine. Uh, hi, Harry. So, sorry I hit you in the face with a pickle. Truth is, I miss you, pal. <clears throat> I, uh, I miss us. Okay. I didn't think I was okay. Wait, what's, go what's going on? It was stipulated in the will that I do this to you. Ow. <laughs> but that's why he wanted to come to the funeral. That's funny. You didn't make it look easy, but you did it. Good day to wear underpants. Boy, too bad about the cards, though. You mean these? Wait, you got them? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How? And they've got bra on. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> I want to give your Sogodactyl card back. The card I traded for it is fake. I guess I probably should have known. This I mean, made me sick. Yes, and it also looked fake as shit. Pull my finger. You got it, mister. Rudy, don't. Huh? Rudy. Is, this meant to, is this meant to be like a parody of fucking the Pokemon theme? Because it kind of sounds like it. What the hell? The music at the start kind of sounded like the fucking Pokemon theme. The fact that one, that was just Pokemon cards, but you know, but they're all slugs was kind of, was kind of funny. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Whoa. What you reading? The internet? Oh, it's yes. an article about those doctors that go to war zones. What? Okay. Like for vacation? No. No. Obviously people. not. This makes it seem like what we do is so trivial. Oh, not this again. I mean, think about it, Lynn. What we do doesn't really make a difference to any. I mean, I guess so. But like, I don't know, people enjoy it. What makes people happy? My God, is making burgers the dumbest thing we could have done with our lives? What? That's it, no. Do that. Yeah, don't I feel like you're, time you're, you're, you're questioning this for nothing. Up. Wait, wait, don't look at the other tabs I have open. I mean, I, I mean. <laughs> wait, what do you have on the other tabs? Oh, thank God. Uh, welcome to Bob's Burgers. Hi. Hi. Yes. Do, do you remember us? I, I do not. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, I'm Connor Coloroso, and this is Pharaoh. Okay. Hello. And we what are had you? our very first date here about three months ago. Oh, oh okay. Good. Happy anniversary. It's a funny story, actually, how we met. We got into a fender bender down by Wonder Wharf. Speed racing okay. here. Clip my... I mean, yeah, to be fair, though, like, it is fucking hard to remember, you know, customers, like, even if they are repeat customers. 
That's fun. Well, what can we get for you, new lovebirds? A couple of burgers? Uh, actually, we came to tell you. We're engaged. What? Oh, After three oh, months. Oh, I knew you two Let's see that rock, girl. Sorry, I heard someone say that on TV. <laughs> okay. Do you even know what that means? Big question to ask you, and we really. Oh wait, are they gonna cater their wedding? Uh, us cater your wedding? Okay, we well, should. Take this the wrong way, but don't you want your wedding to be nice? <laughs> of course, <laughs> but we're not really into okay. the whole traditional wedding thing. I'll be mean, fair enough. I mean, we'd love to, but we're not really set up for catering per se. Oh, very good. I mean, when is this wedding? Because again, didn't they say they only been together for three months when they came? Or well, at least. A Around that, because they had their first date here three months ago. Well. Yeah, they brought us our burgers on that first date. I really? Chills. Chills. You should name your first baby the Belcher Children. <laughs> sure. We really want this to happen. Something that's meaningful to us instead of like a random caterer, you know, with their... I mean, honestly, I guess fair enough. If it, if it's like sentimental made something. When's the big day? A week from Saturday. What? Huh? A, a week so wait, what? Saturday? That's Two not weeks. a lot of time to prep. We're both just really excited. And we yeah, you're going to come a little bit sooner, but getting really married really after like, looking, you know, huh? since right, this Dad? quickly is kind of insane, because surely oh, that's just so recipe romantic. for disaster. Because you know like, realistically right, though, right. how like, Greece. how much could you possibly you so know each other after three months? Sounds great. Bye, they're never going to make it. What? <laughs> you, you just said how romantic this is. Well, what else am I going to say in front of them? I mean, yeah, fair enough. Love. Nothing. How am I excited about this and you're not? You love weddings. You love all this stuff. It's just three months isn't enough time. Yeah, People again. People together for at least 20 years. <laughs> okay, I feel 20 years is a bit ex excessive. At least a fucking couple of years. We didn't get married three months after that fight. Well, yeah, true. I think this is great. The rest of us are excited for this couple. I mean, right, it's good kids? for business, yeah. so yeah. you might as well I'm just nine. do it. I mean, our burgers brought those people together. It's kind of beautiful. I mean, you're like a grief. Is this? Is he gonna? You know, actually feel like he's making a difference now. Might be the most important day in our restaurant's history. Our food helped make this wedding possible, and now it's gonna make it a success. This marriage tank. What the? What the hell? Why? Why are they all wearing those clothes? I mean, it is wedding, so never mind. Doesn't work. They're the ones rushing into this. True. The marriage is gonna work, Lynn. Carter Probably and Farrah not. have a love that burns brighter than any of us can comprehend. Connor. If if you say. So. Whoa, pretty windy yeah, what the here. fuck? I was. I noticed that when they, you know, got out of the car or whatever. Say it, don't spray it, God. When the sh here they come. Nothing. Hey guys, <laughs> look at you. Thank you. Yes. I just said, look at you. I, I didn't. Sorry. Oh, I, I'm nervous. Okay. So I know you said that whatever I came up with for the burger of the day would be fine, but I hope you like what I landed on: the ring Gruyere burger. <laughs> Like ring bearer. Yeah, yes. It has Gruyere cheese and an onion ring on it. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, well, I mean, it makes sense. At least it's like wedding themed in that. Grandma couldn't make the trip, but she baked her famous red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting for us. My cousin drove it all the way here from Atlanta. The lost city of Atlanta? Oh but my god. cheese frosting needs to be refrigerated. Can we put it in one of your coolers? I guess. If it will even fit. Yeah, make some room, sure. Also, uh, you're looking a little short-handed out there. You you want to borrow my kids to help set up? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Would it though? Yeah, <laughs> it's be helpful. Jeez, I'm not so good with this stuff. Whoa! Okay, yes, yeah, just do it. Fine. This isn't what we signed up for. What the fuck? Okay, at least have the same type of chair. Like, if you're gonna have fold-up chairs, fair enough. But at least have it be the same. Wow, this cake is pretty big. Yeah, yeah I don't think that is going to fit. They're big. That's their job. That's the one thing they have to be. I think I can squeeze this in here. Oh, thank God. Is okay, this... Alan just oh, fits. everything. Now we're cooling the cake. Those dum-dums didn't think anything. Yeah, I mean, hey, you. after considering they only been together for three months, this wedding didn't, wasn't exactly, you know, obviously planned out very well. Moni's going to begin in a little bit. Is it possible you guys could join us as guests? It would mean so much to I us. Mean, I mean, if you can swim. If you, if you think so. Oh, uh, yes, we would love to. Uh, thank you. Grace, are you going to have enough time to make the food and do that? Hello? Rob, it's Teddy. Oh, why did I pick up? How's the wedding going? You have everything all set? Um, we had to yes, you're in the middle. The wedding's about to start. To the ceremony. Wow. Which I think is uh, about to start, so I gotta... Hold on, hold on. I wrote a toast for you. Just oh my in case God. they ask. They might not ask, but they yeah, might yeah, ask. And if they ask... <laughs> okay. Before we begin, the bride and groom ask that I thank everyone who chipped in today. Your help is as personal to them as their childhood blankets, which adorn okay. the wedding art. I was wondering what the Our fuck that was. I just assumed it's decoration to something. The Frankie the blankie. Now, if you will please rise. Oh. 
Are you Did crying? Cry? <laughs> okay. This is all because of our food. Oh my god, okay. I feel like that's maybe exaggerated a tiny bit. But it's, it's at the very least it could, you contributed though. But the only for a second, I thought my fucking headphones were fucking up. I'm not gonna lie. The bride and groom have a special surprise that they feel symbolizes their love. If okay. you would all look under your seat, I'm sure I wouldn't know what the hell is underneath this. To three, and we'll open our boxes together. I'm so curious One, to see what this is. Two, three. A dead butterfly? <laughs> what? I got two. Mine looks okay. Oh, no, dead. Okay. Oh, my God. A beautiful cloud of butterflies. What the fuck? They're meant to be flying what? One, two, three. <laughs> we can swim, probably. Right? No. What did they not think the butterflies were going to, you know, suffocate in the fucking box? have written their own vows, which they will read to one another. Farah, the Oxford English Dictionary. Define. Okay, yeah. This wedding is, you know... A fucking disaster. It was bad. Yeah. Really bad. Wait, that was the wedding? Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think it was? why we have to make this the best reception ever. Our food is what brought them together, and now it's the only thing that can possibly save this day. Honestly, so pretty much, yes. Yourself, Bob. Yeah, cut yourself some slack, B-Dog. Uh, the beast stands <laughs> B-Dog? <for Bob. laughs> can I not? I feel like there's no saving this wedding, to be honest. Like, even if the food is good. And I need everyone focused. Oh, my God. What are you doing? We're onion accessorizing. <laughs> Okay. You know what? Forget it. You guys go do something far away from here. Your mom and I. I mean, I... let's go. Sure. Let's I feel like that's gonna put even okay, more pressure Bob, on yourself, you to be honest. Do this. this wedding is I, oh, my yes. war zone. And I've... I didn't expect to get a song, but I'm not complaining. Our burgers were their cupid. Gotta give Farrah and what's his name a perfect reception to prove my job's not stupid. So oh, yes. I take this. I mean, Bob, you. I don't understand why all of a sudden now you're questioning whether your job is stupid. Like. If, you know, even if the restaurant's not doing well, you are doing good. It is a good restaurant. They are a couple of hot messes. Screw this up. Oh, yeah. you're crazy. Do I need this is actually a good song. I'm getting into this. Do I think you've lost your mind on this side? Yeah. He's putting way too much pressure on himself. Hey, you want to see who can get in the most pictures? How will we know who gets in the most? Honor system? Honor? No. We'll uh, look at his camera after the thing and count Okay. Which hell are you going to get to his camera? Let's, let's say whoever gets in the least amount of pictures is the loser and has to clean the grease trap on the grill. Okay, hey, fair enough. wrapped up. There's a reason they call it photogenic. I'm in too. Your butts are about to get shot. Are they just going to photobob as many pictures? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, though. We're missing like 20 slices of Gruyere. If we can't find it, the burger of the day won't make sense, and dinner will be just one more thing that went wrong today. Okay. I can't let this happen. Take a deep breath, Bob. The burgers will be delicious either way, and you're not responsible for anything that happened today. We're responsible for them getting married, Lynn. We're responsible for all of this. Just okay. because you brought these yeah, together in some doesn't mean that you're responsible for keeping them together. Wedding during a windstorm. Jeez, where are you? I mean, their relationship started with the car. Oh my God, is the wind gonna blow? the cake hi hello not helping lynn my point is nothing bad that's happened today is your fault Found it. oh my god no oh, oh okay oh, oh, oh. well no. the cake is fucked okay that one's your fault yeah i mean i've only saved it for a second but obviously not we, we, we have to fix it but well, he's gonna get some of the bacon of the cake enough right no one will notice Sure. Oh, who am I kidding? I've ruined their whole wedding. No, no, no. no I'll do it. You could. I mean, that's on them for fucking making you have the cake in their fridge. Uh, you guys almost done. I really should be still shh, taking shh, shh, photos. Making me lose count. Not looking good for you, Jean. So far, Tina has the most pictures. Okay, well, shit. I guess Tina's more we than you. I thought the camera loved me. That's it. We're back to the first picture I took today. That's that's all of them. Ha! Ah, Jean loses. Wait, I'm in that picture. Wait, what? What? Where? I'm reflected in her sun. Okay, that's actually fucking insane. I thought she was Helen Mirren. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not Helen Mirren. Look, I'm in there twice. I don't lose, Louise. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually quite surprising. I honestly thought she would have easy won that. Cake, oh, cake, oh cake, god. Cake, 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 cake. Lynn, cake, I thought you were fixing the cake. cake. Sorry, you know I can't resist the chance. <gasps> well, come on, I can fix it. Right, 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 right. Oh, God. How she feel like it? What is it? Uh, I mean. Okay. Here's the cake. Ooh. Are they going to notice that it looks horrible? Here I come. I mean, it could be worse. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, oh, no. What? What happened to Grandma's cake? What do you mean? 
Um, it's all Yeah, it's fucked. I got myself worked up trying to make everything perfect for tonight, especially after literally everything went wrong today. So I was rushing around and I fell on your cake. Oh my god. Oh my god! Everything did go wrong today! <laughs> You're only just noticing that. I mean, to be fair, she probably was in denial. We're, 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 we're gonna be okay. But what if we aren't? Farah, I'm so glad you brought that up. Oh, God. Look, Look, when you first told me you were getting married after three months, I thought you were bananas in the top Yes, uh, that is insane. Short. You haven't smelled each other's farts. <laughs> you haven't been through enough bad stuff together, I thought. But today, you really packed it in. I mean, to be fair, though, I guess if, the, this, if they survived this wedding, maybe they could survive the relationship and still. After getting together for three months, then being married, that's still insane. Let's try some cake, huh? Oh, oh. Mm, it's really falling apart. Yeah, but, yeah, but obviously. Wrong, like it was squash. It and... <laughs> okay. Why do you even admit that? Who is this woman? I'm the caterer, ma'am. The caterer. Hell yes. Linda, what you said before was beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you saved the wedding. Honestly, uh, yes. We saved the wedding, Bob. We made this wedding. Take that, doctors in war zones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do good stuff too. Yes. But not everyone can make burgers. Hey, it's Frankie. Talk about a wet blanket. Oh my god. Oh Amazing. God. What? Uh, there's a dead butterfly in the game. <laughs> yeah. I still can't believe the butterflies though. I, got one. I guess that's the end of season eight, which this was a really good season. I feel like season five to eight has been like probably like 10 out of 10. Like, like I liked the show beforehand, don't get me wrong, but th these past like four seasons are just bring it to a new level. Like to the point that this has probably became like one of my favorite shows. Like it's Definitely like my favorite show at least on that I'm watching on the channel. But the thing I find weird is that when I started watching this show like a year and a half ago, for some reason I thought the show ended at season eight because I remember someone told me that the show ended at season eight. And it would have been around the time that season eight came out. It would have been definitely around like 2018. But yeah, I mean, we'll start with the first episode. I find it cool though, that you know, it was basically just Pokemon cards except they're all slugs instead of Pokemon. And even T to bring that up, which I didn't expect them to actually mention Pokemon. That was an interesting situation though, because I feel like it was kind of, you know, a bad idea and kind of on Louise for like, like, you know, trading them during school time. Cause I mean, obviously that was going to go terrible if they got caught, but at the same time, I feel like Tina definitely shouldn't have ratted them out. Like, I feel like that was kind of bad on her part, but I don't know. again, I feel like Louise is, should have also, you know, realized that it's a terrible idea to do it at school and should have just waited until after. But the fucking, the fact that she had fake ones and then they smelled like gasoline is insane though. But I mean, I, I guess it'll work out in the end. Tina managed to break into Miss LeBond's backyard basically and grab them somehow. Like, surely she didn't grab all of them because it looked as, it looked like there's still a fair amount on that table. But that, that second episode, I mean, that's, that felt like a season finale. I feel like each season finale in the past few seasons, except for maybe last season, I can't even remember what last season finale was, has actually like felt like it was a season finale. Like, I feel like they've basically been doing that since season four with that two-parter in season four. But, the, like, that wedding, though, was insane. Like, getting married after three months. Like, you could not possibly know a person after three months. At least well enough that you can marry them. Like, surely that wedding's gonna, like, that marriage is gonna end terribly. But I feel like, I mean, Linda seemed to have faith in them at the end, so it might work out. Who knows? But, oh my god, everything went wrong. That was, like, the most poorly planned wedding ever. First it was windy as shit and all this other stuff, you know, when blown around, you couldn't even hear the reception or anything, like, the actual, you know, talking or anything, like, the actual ceremony at all. And then Bob fucking, they, like, ruined their cake, which, and it's kind of fucked on the couple's part for, like, being like, oh yeah, we have nowhere to store this. Here, can you store it for us? When, you know, it's a massive ass wedding cake, so where was it going to fit? But when Bob dropped it, I was like, oh god, or knocked it down. He caught it, but then slipped over again. Like, I thought he saved it for a second, but of course it went wrong. I mean, at least the cake was still edible and wasn't, you know, completely fucked. The song in that episode as well was really good. Like, Bob's Burgers has some really good songs. I mean, obviously, they literally released albums. I actually have one of them. I'm pretty sure this is the one for season one through six and i think there's another one from like season seven to maybe 12. i'm actually not sure i don't know season eight was really good i'm very interested in season nine because from what i've heard after season eight it gets the show gets a little bit more hit or miss which i mean it makes sense because you know it's a bit it's a long running show but i'm gonna hold any sort of like opinions until i actually watch the episodes myself but hope you enjoyed i'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>